In this video, we will demonstrate how to connect a Control X drive using a USB C cable. We will also show how to use Control X Works with our free downloadable software Control X Drive Engineering for commissioning, diagnostics, and parameterizing the drive. The Control X Drive control panel or display has a USB C connection on the bottom. This is a three axis system using two Control X drives. One is a double axis converter acting as a power supply for a single axis inverter connected to the DC bus. Let's begin by connecting the USB-C cable here. Now, Open Control X works. Then click on Open Control X Drive Engineering. It will locate the connected Control X Drive. Another way to connect the Control X Drive is by going to Tools, Connection, Select Connection. Choose between either Network Search, IP Address Search, Control Unit, or Offline. Under Network Search, select a network adapter or search for all adapters. Once Control X Drive has been identified, press Connect All. Each Control X Drive can have its own control panel, or the control panel can be hot swapped to a different Control X Drive to commission or parameterize the next drive. Here we will connect from one control panel to another. The system will indicate that the connection is lost. Then indicate when the connection has been re-established. And automatically connect to the Control X Drive. We can see that this is a single axis inverter. Indicated by the type code, XMS. Control X Drive Modular Single Axis. Now we will hot swap the control panel from one Control X Drive to another. The system will again indicate the connection loss. And indicate a re-established connection to the new Control X Drive. Once more, showing the type code. XMS. We will continue with the double axis converter shown here in the type code. XCD, Control X Drive Converter Double Axis. The overview screen shows the status of the Control X Drive, status of inputs, and physical location of connectors, such as top, bottom, or front connectors. The safe torque off status, the type codes of motors and motor feedbacks connected to the Control X drive are displayed. In this example, we are connected to a double axis converter that has additional power supply functions. In the configuration, we define the mains connection, three phase or single phase. Configuring the supply unit indicates how the system is controlled, either by field bus, auto soft start, with Control X engineering, or by digital inputs. On the right side it shows the status of the power supply. Mains connection overview, display status of the power supply and DC bus voltage. Mains monitoring, shows phase-to-phase -phase voltage and mains current being drawn. Braking resistor option defines either an internal or external braking resistor, the braking resistance, and the loading of the braking resistor. The status of the power supply can be seen in status messages. The status shows when the DC bus can be charged or when the DC bus is charged. Power supply error reaction sets how the unit will react to an error condition. DC bus configuration sets the values for power on condition and activation. In master communication settings, set type of field bus communication and profile used. In motor, drive mechanics, measuring system section. You can see the motor and encoder type.
Motor temperature monitoring shows the motor type connected, type of temperature sensor, current temperature of motor, and temperature scaling. Motor temperature model displays the model read from the motor feedback memory. Encoder 1, motor encoder, is the primary encoder. It indicates where it is connected. Here in connection XG20, digital encoder, and shows the encoder type. The settings shows the encoder configuration defined as a rotary encoder. Basic encoder evaluation displays position in increments and absolute position values. Extended encoder evaluation displays position, velocity, and if the encoder is referenced. If the motor has an absolute encoder. And there is no requirement for this. Check on deactivate absolute encoder evaluation. This will deactivate the absolute encoder. Encoder 2 is for a secondary encoder. There is no encoder interface, it is unassigned. Brake will display data of the motor holding brake when available. Axis mechanics. Scaling. Defines how the system will behave. In scaling type, the motor can be configured as a rotary or linear axis. Position data format can be set to absolute or modulo value. The direction of the axis can be set. And the data reference can be done to the load or motor shaft. The gear ratio can be entered. Operation modes and drive halt settings are the predefined drive operating modes. Different modes of operation can be selected via field bus or through digital inputs. Drive halt defines how the control X drive will stop when the enable signal is missing. Standstill window value can be set. Drive halt acceleration value entered, and if needed, jerk limit values can also be specified. Limit Value Settings The maximum velocity, acceleration, and jerk values can be set in motion limit values. Travel Range Limit Switch Monitoring and Position Limit Value Monitoring can be activated or deactivated. Based on the dynamic calculation of the motor drive combination, Torque Force Limitation defines how much torque will be produced by the motor. Drive Control Settings Drive Control Overview shows the control method is a closed-loop drive system. In Axis Control, it contains Position Control Loop and Velocity Control Loop. Within Velocity Control Loop, different parameters can be set, such as PI Controller, Filter Circuits or Smoothing Time Constants for Acceleration Feed Forward. Velocity control loop filter allows up to three independent filters, such as low pass, band stop filter, second order filter, band width with notch depth and reduction. Speed controller smoothing time constant is a low pass filter to minimize the effect of high frequency noise. Position control loop defines how the position controller will work. In most cases the parameter to set is the position loop gain or KV factor. Control loop monitoring should always be active during normal operation. If velocity loop monitoring is not active, it may not detect motor runaway conditions. Only if necessary, not active may be used during initial commissioning. Status messages sets values to activate status of position, velocity, and acceleration. For example, to indicate axis is in position, if the lag error is less than the defined position window, in this case 0.1 degrees, then the in position bit will be activated. Velocity window can be set to indicate the actual velocity is the command velocity. Power, torque and force threshold can be set here too. Error Reaction Settings 
The reaction of an error can be set here. Depending on the error code, certain conditions can be selected. For instance, on F2, F3, F4 errors or warnings. The reaction can be set to velocity command value reset, which will stop the motor as fast as possible. Velocity command value reset with emergency stop deceleration, velocity command value reset with drive halt acceleration bipolar, or torque disable, that will free will the motor. For F6 or F7 faults, the error reaction can be set to velocity command value reset, velocity command value reset with emergency stop deceleration, or torque disable. For F8 faults, the error reaction can be set to torque disable, motor phase short circuit, which is equivalent to DC braking, or motor phase short circuit as alternative to holding brake also using a DC braking function. Error reaction DC bus, sets how the system will react to undervoltage or voltage loss. E-stop function, defines if the emergency stop is active or inactive, and if it will react as a fault or a warning. Drive integrated safety technology settings. Control X drive, comes standard with safe torque off. Here, the STO can be set as an error of fault or a warning. The diagnostic message output can be a complete diagnostic or a limited diagnostic message. Plus, the status of the STO inputs are shown here. Probe settings. If a probe is going to be used, the signal can be defined as position feedback value of encoder 1, position feedback value of encoder 2, and, if available, system find time. Optimization and Commissioning Control X Drive This helps to commission the Control X Drive without having an external control. Easy Startup Mode will display how to test and commission the Control X Drive. Local I.O. Settings In Local I.O.s On Connection XG31.1 The status of the inputs will be shown. If the E-Stop signal is lost the indicator will go from green to gray, and the axis status will go red with the diagnostic message, Axis Power Supply 1, Emergency Stop Activated. Once the E-Stop is removed, the error can be cleared, and the Control X drive ready for power on. In Analog Input, the function for the analog input can be selected. There are many options, such as Velocity Command Value, homing velocity or position command value, and others. The voltage level can be defined here, typically plus minus 10 volts. Here, you can see the exact same settings for axis number 2. Thank you for watching.